morning. Oh my word. What day is it? Thursday, I think. Uh, 16 degrees, the sun is shining. It's going to be a warm one, I reckon. And uh, I'm in my shorts, clearly. And the time now is, what time did I just say it was? I don't know. 6.39 and I entered the docks just a minute after four this morning. Four till five VBS, so I got down here for four o'clock. And uh, it's now 6.40 and I'm just leaving. Well done docks. <coughs> Unbelievable. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Ah, joke. So we're a little 20 foot one. And we've got to be up past Corby, Rutland. Not far from Rutland Water. Stop then. Must have a job's worth on. So, yeah, what a palaver! What a palaver! Oh, floating around, and there's all of a sudden, there's like warnings keep coming up for. Ah, uh, the camera's all wonky. Um, it is what it is, isn't it? I don't care, Mally paid, but uh, it just cocks the day up. I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. It's uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be there at eight o'clock. I'll be lucky if I get there for up past ten. Left on the roundabout and take the first exit, P35, Redbridge Road. I mean, I would I would have been late. Even if they'd been an hour on the docks, because <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll just you can only do what you can do at the end of the day, innit? You know, just do what you can do. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, where's he going? He's going to pull in there, and there ain't going to be that murk is just going to cause havoc. You went on further up. Speak to you later. Hello, just leaving Chilwell Valley. I had to stop for 15. <laughs> I get a phone call. We haven't heard from you. I said, Have you checked your messages then? I sent you a message at 20 past 6 this morning saying I've been two and a half hours on the. Well, they didn't tell me that. I said, Well, <laughs> that's not my problem, fella. You talk to your staff. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I said, well, yeah, but the implications are there, aren't they? So, well, talk about wanting to bloke up. I, I, I seem to get fired up quite easily. He said, how long before we get there? I said, well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Is fuck. Where's that boy going? Ah, 
the other idea. Do you know what I mean? Planners. I'm on A roads now, not a motorway in sight now. A roads all the way, the rest of the way there. You can only do so much. And keep within the law. What? So we're leaving Cherwell after a quick 15 minute break. So anyway, the easy way to piss me off is to just is to not get the facts right in the first place and then have a little bit of a, you know, then question, question me. Well, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be questioned, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, but it's, it's the way you go about it. You can see where I am, you can see what time I left the docks, which he said he knew. So therefore you should know that I've gone straight from the docks straight to here without fucking about or stopping once. go from half three this morning until ten to nine without a, without a break stopping to use a toilet don't get shirty with me I don't know some people expect fucking miracles I really do anyway I'm gonna calm down something to eat, I'm going to have a coffee, and I'll speak to you all later on. Hello! There's some good views here, I don't know how much you're going to get to see them. There's some steep hills. Probably doesn't look very steep to you, but I can assure you it is. And windy. we go for this quaint little village. So we're the other side of Corby now. It's not a road I travel on very often. Thankfully, because I'd have no fillings left. Jeez. Thank God I'm not in the murk. In the Leicestershire. See a spire. So probably go from nice straight open roads like this to little shitty villages in a minute. I have been down this road, I just can't remember it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I remember this bridge.
like they so want a bypass. Look at camera on that there on the other side of the road. Jeez. There's the spire on my left. Twelve more to go. Oh, it's a bit of countryside. Looks like we're coming into some rain though. That's not in the plan. The last little bit takes so long, they're little windy roads. Going into some rain, it's a nice place to stop. Big lake over to my left. enjoying the Volvo truck. After this we've got a reload in Cambridge somewhere. Cambridge Shire. I don't even bother looking to see where it is yet. No point in getting too far ahead of yourself because I've done that before and sussed it all out, worked it all out, spent 10-15 minutes finding out how to go and then the job changes. It's like, uh, I don't tend to do it that early. Uppingham. They don't 
vlog in Afrika. Slow down. Yeah, I've been through here before. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Go for me. Bloody speed bumps as well. Don't really affect me. It's the same place. Harley Davidson's. That's that in the in the motorbike. Bar that's that's like a bit like Scania's. to dress up a bit, you know what I mean? I get some Hell's Angel after me now. This way, so I've got to head the opposite. Though. I've got to head more east after this. See another spire.
over six miles to go. If I get in, they go, nah, can't do you now, mate. Preston, not the Preston up north. You and traffic behind me, what can you do? They can all go for it if they want. Bird Fair. Said something else for a minute. Blimey, I'm Riley. Thankfully, it began with a G. Great name, though. Just going to scrape in.
all pretty easy so far. And number 40. a bit of a wobble going on so but the old camera there Historic market town, never been in the town itself. Good to go. If anyone knows what it's like, is it worth visiting? Road and uh, 
want it somewhere. See it inside it in there. Okay. No, that's wrong name. Close. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. That's this one here, I think. So I'll speak to you all later on.